Hey guys, welcome back to Abby Games Plays Doki Doki Literature Club. And nothing scary has happened yet. Feeling cucked. But, hey. I... Uh, gonna keep playing, obviously. My cat keeps running around my apartment because it is 1.30 a.m. And that is the time where he runs around my apartment. You can probably hear him on the microphone, to be honest. He's very... He was very loud. Sounds like multiple cats running up the hallway and my mics are so sensitive. Anyway, I'm gonna show my poem to Monica. Monica. Hi, Monica. A darling angel with a beautiful face. I love all these girls, actually. They have really cute faces and hair and bodies and they're so good. I love them. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, do you gonna read my poem now? Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. This is a horror game. I mean, also mood, but anyway. Hmm. <laughs> She thinks it's good. It's random words in a row. I was going ooh in my head while reading it. That's how I am when I read literally anything, so. Well, anything interesting and good. Not my college reading assignments. I hate reading those. I really would love to see this poem I apparently wrote. You know what's weird is that like when I was choosing the words last time, they only had little chibis of the other three. They didn't have one of Monica. Huh. It's weird. Well, obviously I just showed her my poem and she like died. So it was great. That is a big true fact. I have tried. It didn't work out. I'll do anything for you, Monica. She's so cute. Keep talking about Natsuki? Cause that's what Yuri was talking about, Natsuki being biased before. <laughs> it's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. Yeah, he's trying to romance these girls because this is a visual novel dating sim. Thingy. So, ah, ha, 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 ha. Do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. <laughs> That's the big mood. Hole in wall. It couldn't have been me. See, the direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. What the fuck is that? Fucking... Mm. 
So I thought like there's like a murder, but then there's some like the whole. I don't fucking know what's going on with that. That's that's a lot for me. It's a lot. It's a lot, Monica. It's a lot. It's very freeform. It's a lot. Hmm. Huh. Oh yeah, some neighbor of mine got murdered and, uh, and they thought I did it. Ah, uh, well I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. What the fuck does that mean? It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany. Uh, I don't want to know what kind of epiphany you had that made you talk about like things that sound like murder and or whatever the fuck the last half of that was. Okay. Anyway, Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. You know, that's actually va valuable writing advice. At least like they're just shitting something out and cleaning it up later. Like that's a... Oh, I read something in my first creative writing class at college about that. It was like from the book Bird by Bird, I think. It's called Shitty First Drafts. It's like real, actual advice, so. This game is educational. <laughs> mm. So does that mean like when everybody, huh, who should I show it to next? I don't really have a choice. <laughs> Hello, tiny cute girl. Question mark? About what I expected from someone like you. What the fuck does that mean, bitch? God. Little blunt. Well, excuse me, princess. It's not like I said it was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. Well, fuck you. I didn't write it for you. I just clicked whatever word I wanted, and apparently that was writing it for Yuri. Do you want to get smacked? Oh, no thanks. Sigh. Well, anyway, I guess I needed to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try, but that's about it. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I was about thinking it was really fucking dumb, but then, like, the last two lines are actually pretty good. It's good shit, actually. Is there an option to say I liked that? Because I actually liked that. What the fuck? I liked it, bitch. Oh, thank you. What? Just be honest. I am. Well, because I'm a stupid bitch who thinks I know everything about everybody because I'm a stupid bitch. Because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. I take your writing seriously, Natsuki. I am of the same opinion because I can't like do all this sophisticated writing. It's like, it sounds like horse shit coming out of my mouth. Time to get real here, but like, I wrote an ode to the word asshole for my poetry writing class. I did mention that last episode, I believe. Big mood. That's the big truth. That's also the big truth. That's the big truth. Not to like, what do you mean? I guess more wind into it than I realized. I, as the player realized, but I'm a writer, so this character slash me is not a writer, so I should just shut the fuck up. Okay. I 
mean, to be fair, my guy, you did just click random words in a notebook. So. <sighs> this is a literature club, after all. You keep saying that. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> Oh, fight. Fight, 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 fight. Come on, fight. Fight. Fight, oh, they all. Oh, fight. Fight. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, they're fighting over me. <laughs> Every time with the pronoun game here. It fucking bothers me the fuck out of me. I'm just gonna shut up, though. She stands up. She didn't really get any taller than she was before. Where'd the music go? Okay, well, it's... Different music now? Oh, oh! They're gonna they're gonna throw down in this literature club today. I don't like this music. <laughs> oh my God. This, uh, is making me want to leave the room. That's too much. It's like, it's how I am when people fight in front of me in real life. And then they're like, what do you, what do you think? And I'm like, <laughs> I think everyone should shut the fuck up so I can get, so I can get some sleep. That's what I think. Ha 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 ha. I think both of them are equally right in their own ways, and that writing is a subjective art form, and it's not... <sighs> Guys, please. Guys, please, stop. That's the big mood of today, right there. Oh my god, shit, what do I do? I don't think Natsuki likes me very much, but... I don't want to pick between them. Ha 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 ha. I didn't click on Natsuki. Okay. Okay, it's actually doing what I clicked. I was like afraid for a hot minute. Where did the music go? Thank you for that easy out, Sayori. Ah! Stop.
Oh my god, please. I thought this would. Okay. Couldn't get out of it. I'm gonna have to pick. Different music. Oh no, we made her cry. Shit. She hates it. Monica's so cute too. It's like she and Yuri are like, they're my girls, I love them. But then I love the other two too. I mean, Natsuki's kind of annoying, but she's growing on me. Sayori already, I already liked her from the beginning because she's so fucking weird. Cute, cute coral. Was a lot of fun, except for when the Yuri and Natsuki were gonna throw down in this fucking classroom. Awesome. We'll do the same thing tomorrow. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I did learn a little more about the kind of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. Jesus, this game is so fucking like, I don't know, I just it just seems kind of like bad to like manipulate this, people like this. I guess that's what dating sims are, but like, I don't know. See, this is why I don't play dating sims. It's like, I feel like I'm manipulating people into liking me. Probably why I don't have that many friends at all, because I don't like to make people like me, because I feel like I'm a bad person if I try to make people want to like me. I don't know. I'll just shut up now. Let's get the fuck out of here so I can click on more words. It's my BFF. Uh, somehow I doubt that. Mm-hmm, somehow I doubt this. No, I don't. Are you naive little girl? Stop. <laughs> oh my god. This guy's just really out here using people as internal monologues. Let's write these words. See, see, look, look, there's no Monica here. Why can't there, where, where's Monica? Cool. Parfait. Oh, 
you know what? I'm just going to be a piece of shit and click Doki Doki because that's the name of the gay game. Not the gay. I'm Wow. That was a Freudian slip if I've ever heard one. Okay. Apparently Natsuki likes Doki Doki. Did not think that said puppy. Holy fuck. Waterfall. Fester is a good word. Vivid poof. Death. I'm gonna click it. Vivid. Jesus, I'm just picking them randomly now. I don't really fucking know what's happening. Heaven sent. I didn't think that was a word. Um. Socks. Heartbeat. I'm gonna Google that word, effulgent. I'm just gonna do that quickly. Just gonna quickly, never mind, my phone is like all the way over there, so it's not gonna happen right now. I don't wanna exit out of the window. I'm gonna exit out of the window. I'll be right back. I'm gonna Google this word because it's bothering me. Shining brightly. Radiant. So, means to be radiant. I see. Okay, I'm not clicking on that word. Um. Depression. <laughs> I have depression. Well, I finished my poem. And we're back at Literature Club. So I'm going to see you guys on the next episode. And still nothing scary has happened. But that's okay. Everything's fine. Everyone's great at the Literature Club. And it's beautiful and perfect. Yeah. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Bye!